welcome back to my channel. Today I'm participating in the Spring DIY and Decor Challenge hosted by Christina from the DIY Mommy. And I will link the playlist down below if you want to check out any of the other videos in the challenge. And please take a second to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And let's get started. To make this hanging flower display, you will need some little glass bottles or vases. I actually already have these laying around from when I made my essential oil sprays and they were the perfect size. Then I took some twine and just tied a knot around the neck of the bottle. I made a double knot just to make sure it was extra secure. Then I wrapped the twine around the neck of the bottle a few times and then tied another double knot to make sure that it would not come undone. As you can see, now you can actually hang your bottle by the string. Continue doing this with the rest of your bottles. I would say I left about six to eight inches of space in between each one just so that they weren't hitting each other when I hung them up. Continue wrapping each neck of the bottle and tying a double knot before you move on to the next bottle. Once you've finished tying all your bottles together, I used four, you can add your flowers. So I just got some fresh flowers and cut them down to the size that I needed for my bottles and arranged them however I wanted. You can also add water if you want them to last a little bit longer, but it looks really pretty when it's hung up. This is a great opportunity to upcycle cans that you have from things that you get at the store. So I have two different sizes of cans. For this bigger one, I'm going to make a little planter. So I started with this macrame rope that I had from another project, and I added some hot glue to the bottom of the can and started slowly wrapping the rope around the can. I didn't glue the entire way. I would wrap it, and then I would stop and glue a little section just to make sure it was secure, and then I would continue wrapping. When I got about three quarters of the way up the can, I glued the last bit on and made a little cut and then just made sure it was secure. Then I started wrapping a different color, so I had this pink rope and I continued wrapping that the rest of the way up the can until the entire thing was covered. Now it's time to add my plant, so I just added some potting soil to the can and I have this little cactus that needed a new home, so I made a little spot for it in the dirt and just packed down the dirt around it and then I just wiped off the excess that had fallen off and now I have a really cute planter. I also wrapped this smaller can with some gray and white string and it was the perfect size as a new holder for my makeup brushes. This is a spring update on my winter stovetop scent. So for the spring scent, I'm using some grapefruit and some sliced oranges, and I'm just putting them in a pot of water. Then I also added two spoonfuls of vanilla extract. So all you have to do with this is just get it to a simmer, and you can leave it on your stove top for hours, as long as you keep making sure that the water doesn't run out. You can add more water as you need to, but it will simmer and just fill your home with this beautiful citrusy vanilla fresh scent. Another one of my favorites is to add fresh slices of cucumber and lime, and I put that in the pot with the water, and then I also add in some fresh mint leaves. And this is just a really clean, fresh, springy smell. Um, and these also make really great hostess gifts. If you put them in a mason jar and bring them to someone's house, they will love it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below which one of these projects was your favorite. I think mine was probably the cactus planter just because I think it's really cute, but I love all of them. Like I said, I will leave the playlist in the description box down below if you want to check out some of the other videos in this challenge. And thank you to Christina for hosting it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already, and give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!